Hi guys, welcome to Next Change Student Channel Thermodynamic Web Series. Today I am going to discuss Gaskell 9.5 question. So let's get started. So in this question we are given a lead till melt at temperature 473 degrees celsius and the mole fraction of lead is 0.1 and the activity of lead is 0.055 so this is a regular solution so the delta h mix is not equals to 0 we have delta h mix as omega x pb x sn so now we will write the delta G mix equation and write the individual terms, expand them. And also we know that the chemical potential of an element, let's say lead, equals to the partial molar Gibbs free energy of that element. And that is represented mathematically as RT ln APB equals to the chemical potential of PB. So this is the relation between the chemical potential and the activity. So we also know how to derive the partial molar Gibbs energy or the chemical potential of an element using this formula. So now we will take the delta G mix as it is and we will just differentiate the delta G mix first so that we can simplify it later. So first we will do the differentiation. So when I do the differentiation, I, I take the individual terms. So this is the differentiation. You can do it yourself and get the same answer. So I'll cancel plus one minus one into one minus so I have delta G mix plus 1 minus X PB. So I have to multiply and expand this term. And uh, I will expand the delta G mix term as well. So that I can simplify the whole equation. So I will take my 1 minus X PB equals to X of SN. And then I can write in this form. And RT XSN into ln XPB and RT XSN ln XSN. So I have circled two terms, they are plus and negative terms which get cancelled. Now this term cancels with the minus XPB. So we are left with three terms. One is RT XPB ln XPB and RT XSN ln XPB and omega XN square. Also we know that the summation of the mole fraction, the sum of the mole fraction is 1. So that simplifies this further, this is 1. So now we have the chemical potential equals to RT ln of activity of PB equals to the two terms which I have simplified. Also we know that activity is nothing but mole fraction into the activity coefficient. So this is activity, this is activity coefficient. So I will put that term inside this ln xpb into omega pb. Now we know ln a into b equals to ln a plus ln b from logarithmic equation. So I will expand this term. So I am left with four terms. I can cancel RT ln XPB on both sides. So I have a very simple equation RT ln omega P equals to omega XSN square. Similarly, we can obtain for the SN term RT ln omega SN equals to omega XPB square. So now in the question, we are given the activity of PB and the mole fraction of PB. So from that we can obtain the coefficient, activity coefficient as 0.55 and we know from the above equation, I will 
expand the terms r is 8.3144 and temperature is 746 kelvin and we know omega is 0.55 and the x sn squared is 0.9 squared because x pb is 0.1 so i will obtain the omega as the interaction parameter is minus 4578 joules now in the question is also asked at 500 degrees celsius and the mole fraction of sn is 0.5 what is the activity of sn so i have derived that equation above since rt ln omega x sn equals to omega x pb square i will use that i have which i have written above and i will obtain omega is exponential minus 0.178 so the activity is nothing but mole fraction into omega so that is 0.418 thank you for watching this video if you like the content please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel also please press the bell icon for further notifications if you have any content that you would like to see please do comment below